Welcome to App Design Tips. This video is part of a free complete icon design tutorial. If you want to follow along, you can download the exercise files using the link in the description below. Let's take a look at how we can design a cloud icon. So I'm going to delete this icon here because I went with this heart icon. And let's zoom into our artboard that says cloud. And creating a cloud is really simple and there's a few ways that we can do it. So I'm going to show you one way first. So in the circle, we're going to give this about six boxes by six boxes. I think that should look good. And then we're going to hold down option and just copy this circle over here. And we can resize this just to be a little bit smaller, something like this and move this over somewhere like that. And then holding down Option and Shift again, we can move this over to the left. And let's make this just a little bit smaller. So you can see that's already starting to look like a cloud. Now I'm going to show you a destructive and a non-destructive way to create this cloud. So first, the destructive way. I'm going to copy this over here so we can use it later. And the first way that we can do this is just merge all of these shapes. We can add those together. And then if we go to Object and Convert Path, or control eight or command eight, then we can double click in here. Now that it's not three circles, it's actually one path. I can delete these anchor points here and there's our cloud. Now, if you want this to be somewhat non-destructive, we can come up here and we can create this rectangle here at the center of this circle and at the center of this circle. Just fill that in there. And now we can select all of these and merge. This works okay sometimes. If I hold down shift and resize this, sometimes you can actually see some artifacts of where that's trying to cut. It looks like it did a good job this time. So however you wanna do that, now that this is non-destructive, I can still double click and move this circle around, just make it feel a little bit organic if I wanted to. And you can play around with that without worrying about these circles being baked. I actually like this one better than this one, so I'm going to delete this one. Let's move this over here, give it a black fill, and we should be good to go. Now, notice the sizing is a little bit off. We won't worry about that right now until we get all of our icons created, and then we'll resize these and balance them out. If you're enjoying this free icon design tutorial, I have a complete course on learning Adobe XD for UI UX design. You can find a link in the description below with a steep discount included for my YouTube fans. This course will cover everything from learning the Adobe XD interface to designing and prototyping an entire app from start to finish.